welcome back guys today in this adobe xd tutorial i will show you guys how to create working components using component stages in adobe xd with this new feature you can save a lot of time and also you can avoid creating multiple artboards to achieve one simple components best part is that you can save this component as an asset and use that asset in any of your artwork again and again for an example as you can see in here i have a simple toggle button in here to do these kind of toggle animation previously you need to have multiple hardboard and you need to create multiple stages of the icon in different artboards and link them together but now you can achieve that without any artboard support all right so let's uh, see how to create this simple toggle button uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to design first. I'm going to artboard and create a new artboard with the same size as this one in here. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Let's change the background color to a darker tone like this. And let's center it and make the corners as rounded corners. So this will be our background. Let's go to ellipse and draw an ellipse in here place the ellipse in ideal stage and let's align them to the vertical center and we don't need a border for this uh, this circle in here select the ellipse and deselect the border all right so our component design part is ready now uh, we need to convert these shapes as a component so that we can uh, make a proper working component all right so to make a component select all of these uh, objects and once you select you can see in here uh, there is an additional option in here you can make a component so just uh, click on this plus sign and our component has been created and also you guys can see in here it has already created a default state for this component whenever you create a new component you will get this by default as a default stage then we can change these to different stages and you can add more stages by uh, clicking on this uh, plus icon in here as you guys can see we have new uh, stage and hover stage uh, we will see the hover stage on later part and for this one i'm going to create a new stage and going to name this one as on on is where our toggle uh, button will be active and by default our component will be off all right so let's select the hover stage and double click and change the features of the color and also let's bring the uh, ellipse to the other side all right so just leave it like this all right so now if you go back to the default stage you will see the earlier version and if you play now uh, you won't see any difference on the screen it's because although we have two stages in here default and hover stage we need to prototype them in order to work so let's uh, do the prototyping go to prototype and select the default stage first and now you will see all the interaction are inactive so we have to create a new interaction by clicking on this icon in here once you click the icon it will create a link for itself for the same artboard and now you will see all the interactions are active all right so let's start our interaction trigger will be tap and the action will be auto animation and the destination will be now uh, you can see in here in addition to artboards you also see a state the on state which we have created earlier so we are going to link the on stage for this interaction so just select on and for easing i'm just going to select i'm just going to select easing for this for now all right now we need to do the same for on level also if not the toggle won't be completed so select the on and again create a new interaction with the same settings but this time for 
destination i'm going to select the default stage so that when you are clicking here it will go to the default stage all right so our interaction is completed let's play and see our animation all right guys so you can see our toggle button is working fine all right so let's uh, close this one as you guys can see in here our component is showing up in the layers as a group and a component group but if we go to our assets uh, folder in here you will see our component in here we can rename this one as i'm going to name as uh, toggle button because we already have a toggle slider below toggle uh, button and now this component we can use in any part of our ui now i put it in here if you play you will see it's both are working and we don't need this anymore you can delete this now we can use this as a component in anywhere anywhere you want also you can see you can use this in other xd functions as well and all of them are working fine and also you can use this in external ui files as well all right let's move to the hover function uh, in this example i already have another button created in here download button so in this example i'm going to show you guys how to create a hover function uh, and also with the same button how to create a active function as well all right so as you guys can see here we have multiple components just shapes i have created inside xd you can also create them in illustrator and bring it in here okay these are just basic shapes now i'm going to make all of them as a component so select all of them and you can also right click and make components or you can go to the plus sign so i will make a component in here and go to assets and i'm going to rename this one as download button okay and now we go to our states we have our default stage and let's create a hover stage for this one all right and we can name this hover stage if you want so i'm not going to rename this one and again select this one double click maybe let's change our color to a background color maybe yellow and we can also change the font size and the fonts weight font color if you want and i'm going to animate this button also this icon just going to bring the arrow below a little bit down maybe like this is fine all right this is fine so we have uh, two stages of this uh, button ready now we have the default and the uh, hover stage okay so let's start creating the interaction for this uh, button add new interaction and select default stage and for the trigger will be hover and animation will be auto animation and the destination will be hover hover stage all right so let's reverse the animation also go to hover stage create a new interaction this time also it's going to be hover animation will be auto animation and default stage destination will be default stage all right let's go to default stage and play our animation and if you see when i hover over my mouse you will see our animation is working fine all right so now i'm going to have one more stage for the same icon maybe completed stage so let's create a new stage and call it as clicked when we click maybe this button color may be changed to green color let's, let's change the color to green and this green is fine and also change the text to completed and let's change our icon also i will make this one as a tick like completed and i will modify this to tick and i will make the other parts opacity to zero and modify this like a tick 
like this scene here yeah this look better all right okay guys so we have completed our third stage now we need to create interactions again let's go to interactions prototypes and this time we already assigned interactions earlier for default stage we have the hover and for the hover we have the default stage what we need to do now is we need to create a new interaction assigned to these stages let's start from the default stage to create a new interaction you can just press on this plus icon in here in the interactions or you can go to the artboard and click on this plus icon in here both are same things once you click on one of these you will see there is a blank interactions appearing in here so for this one i'm going to select tap and animation is going to be auto animation and the destination will be clicked all right once you finalize your setup for this second interaction you can see in here there are two type of interaction appearing under the interaction menu one is for hover the other one is for clicked let's play our interaction and see as you can see in here our hover function is working fine when i click on the button it's going to the completed stage and when i click again you won't see any changes because we have not done any completing animation yet so let's do that also select the click stage and create a new interaction and trigger will be tab and animation will be auto animation and for the for the destination choose the default stage that's it we leave all the other settings default and now if you play hover function is working fine and clicked also working fine when i click again it will go to the idle stage which is the default stage all right okay guys so one last thing i want to show you guys in here you can create any number of stages so you can have more than one stage in here so using this technique i will create a volume controller I have these shapes in here one cone and three levels of volume controller in this example i will show you guys how to use these shapes and the stages to create a working volume controller all right so let's get started select all of them and make as a component and name this component as volume controller we have some xd updates we don't need for now we need to modify this component a bit i'm going to draw two rectangles in here just a blank re uh, rectangle nothing uh, special so just place one here and let's select both of them and we don't need borders for this one all right now we can adjust the size later just i just like this for now one covering the speaker the other one covering the controllers so select both of them and control x and open the component double click and paste it inside the component all right so you will see our two rectangles are inside our components now go to stages and create a new stage and name this stage as level one so we are going to have three levels for this uh, stage including the idle stage total we will have four levels all right so let's uh, modify the look and feel for each of these levels on the go so i will select the level one and i will make this uh, first uh, line color same as the speaker color and same like this i will create the second one level two and i will make this one also color and third one also level three i will make this uh, final line as a colored line all right so we have three stages four stages including the idle stage each level you will see each of these uh, levels are highlighted let's set up the interactions first i'm going to create interactions for these rectangles first i will start from this rectangle in here and select the rectangle and create a new interaction and go to the trigger and select tap 
uh, auto animation is fine and for the destination select level one this is for ideal stage so select one and in the ideal stage we don't need any interaction for the other rectangle so let's go to the second level and this time i'm going to select the interaction as level two so this uh, rectangle will act as a plus icon in the volume controller and the other rectangle this one on the right is going to act as volume controller minus so this will decrease the sound the other one will be increase the sound so for this one in level one stage when you press when you press this one it will go to the one stage earlier which is the idle stage so let's make an interaction for this one also when you click on this one it will go to default stage which is the earlier stage all right so i'm going to do the same for all stages so in the level two the plus rectangle will go to level three and the minus rectangle will go to level one same for the level three plus icon will do nothing and the minus icon will go to the level two all right okay so let's go back to the idle stage uh, default stage and play our animation and when we plus you will see one is increasing when we click on the minus you will see volume is decreasing all right all working good now we can close this part and this part is uh, important make sure the rectangles are the topmost layers which is covering the shape and bring in here cover the entire height and select the other rectangle and cover the cone portion in here all right so now we go back to different stages go to la level one and this time bring this one until the inactive lines and minus one covering until the active lines same go to level two cover only the inactive line in here and this one cover the uh, active ones like this all right and level three also level three we don't need the plus icon you can make the width zero or just place it in here just zero is fine and this one just bring it in here okay now select uh, maybe go to default and default level in here and select both of these and bring the opacity to zero now we will check it's adjusting properly in all our levels now if you play our interaction you will see it's working like a proper volume controller button all right so this is how you create proper volume controller button only with one artboard using the stages all right guys so that's it guys that's about it for today's tutorial with this new stages feature in adobe xd you can save a lot of time and also you can simplify your component creating process all these components you can save as assets and use them in any of your ui prototypes all right guys thank you for watching before i go i never mentioned this in any of my videos before i have a patreon page which i created many years ago but i have never updated the page until recently and if you want to support a uh, digital art creation channel you can become a patreon from here and also you can become a premium content member so you can watch all my premium tutorials in here these tutorials are the one you can find it in udemy or in other places these tutorials comes with their source files and all step by step which you will find it in udemy and other places beside this i also update slower versions of speed art videos in here because a lot of you guys are asking for slower versions of my speed art videos uh, those you can find it in here real time or slower versions which i don't straight away upload to youtube i will upload them in here all right guys so if you want to contribute to digital art creation please check this one out thank you so much and see you guys in the next tutorial